We're Ulla and Josh, and we swapped the conventional four walls of our home by the sea for the adventure of living on a 60-foot narrowboat. Join us as we slow down and settle into our new life, travelling by water through the British countryside. Let's go! So we've just arrived here this morning at the famous Cane Hill flight in Devizes and we're meeting our gorgeous friend Ken and we're going to be giving him a hand along with some Canal and River Trust volunteers to help him move down the flight. We've never operated a lock before so this is the perfect chance for us to get a crash course on how to work a lock, move through them and then also get an idea of what it's like to operate a succession of, is it 16 locks? I think so. Little heron, can you see the heron? Hey there. I'm freaking him out, do you think? Yeah. You see, the locks are full, and every lock we've passed so far has been full, which we think means that there's volunteers that are filling up all the locks for Kenneth really smooth progression down the flight. So how much are we going to learn today? So are you currently preparing all the locks? Yeah, that's down. right, that's right, yeah. Okay. Good morning. Hey! Here he is! He's doing really great, I thought. Let's just keep going at this pace here. I'll be at the bottom before you arrive. Hello, beautiful. How you doing on board, Benji? Keeping warm, I hope, buddy. Keeping warm. If someone's on the boat, I can do one, and then Josh would stay on or something. You can do them as fast as you like. You know, ben. But you no, always the, the walls, chamber walls, are very clean. Okay. You won't snag up. You know, all you have to do is make sure the sides forward. Yeah. And if you put the water in wrong or too fast it would drag the boat off the wall and crash against the other wall. All right, I'm facing the other way. Yeah, the lock is in, so it's the finish. And um, these are what we call green pipes. When you let water through them, they ricochet off that wall. So if you open that one first, it pushes the boat against the wall. That makes sense. If you put it open that one first, <laughs> it's going to push you away from it's it. It's going to swing you right across. And my ruling is open three turns, open three, make sure the boat's okay, open three turns. It's doing it right Yeah, yeah. Guys entering the next lock. All these lovely people are helping him. Oh, you're so professional. Hey. Thank you. Oh, nice. See the luxury of hydraulic steering up here. I saw that. It's just that's very helpful. Bliss, you know. Remember to duck your head. An apprentice. Never done a lock before. Me and my partner. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. <laughs> Oh, 
Although we're not actually doing too much to help Ken along the uh, flight of, of locks, it's a massive learning curve for us that have no experience whatsoever. So it's really impressive to see. It's really impressive just to watch them in motion and, and learn the process. The more that we can be around them, the more that we can operate them, the more that when it comes to us taking our first lock, we'll be smooth sailing. One. Is it? <laughs> well, I'm warming up, I tell you that. Woo! I've just said goodbye to the volunteers. They are heading up there. And I believe we maybe have one lock to do by ourselves, which will be interesting. The boys are just heading into the lock now. I think Benji's already run down there. So hopefully gonna find him in a second and then try and do this lock all by ourselves. Needs oiling. <laughs> Good, good. I put the kettle on. Yeah. Oh, a lovely Please idea. All aboard. All aboard. Oh, yeah. for a cup All of tea. Aboard. All aboard. Yeah. Where are we going? The flying bridge. I'm going up on the flying bridge. Go yeah, for it. No pressure, Josh. You're just steering Ken's boat whilst he takes Benji for a little bit of a walk over there. Um, is the boat in good hands? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. <laughs> well, this is interesting because it's a hydraulic steering wheel and it's opposite to ours. So obviously with our... Um... You focus, babe. Don't hit any boats. Wow. So the steering wheel on here is literally like a car. So you would steer it right to go right and you would steer it left to go left. To the opposite for us. Yeah, when I first got in <laughs> up that... there, you'll see the footage. I'll bump, bump. Oh yeah, around. you bumped it straight into the locked gate. Oh! <laughs> because oh. I steered the wrong way thinking... Because Ken's got a proper steering wheel on his beautiful barge. It's very quiet, isn't it? So quiet. So we have just had a lovely cup of tea on Ken's boat and now we're going to start moving through some locks. Josh is opening one of the gates. I'm gonna open this one. Let's do it. I'm walking ahead now because I think that the next lock needs to be filled before Ken can enter it. So I've left Josh at the previous one so he can close that all up once Ken's come through and I'm going to attempt to figure out how to fill this one. Maybe, I don't think it's filled so 
Wish me luck. Yep, it needs filling. That's the difference. And they're back over there. So I think I need to open one of these. Oh, I'm feeling a bit nervous. So I'm here, let's go. One paddle open. Ooh, it's nerve wracking, but I think I've done it. Okay, the levels are almost the same. Approaching over there, you can see Josh in the distance. He's closing up those gates. <sighs> Josh has joined me down this end. I think we're getting the hang of it now, aren't we? See Benji over there? Little Benj. I think we're getting the hang of it. Oh yeah. How do you feel? That was our... Yeah, we just did quite a few locks, just the two of us helping Ken. I feel really good about that. Yeah, that's it. I do feel achieved. I do. I, I feel think... really good. I feel like, yeah, we've got this. We've just done quite a few in a row. Yes. We'll probably forget it all tomorrow. Let's hope not, fingers crossed. I don't think so. I think what it was, we've done it really well, actually. I think it was a sensible way to go about our learning process. With the CRT volunteers, they were absolute legends. Thank you for you guys for all your help and uh, teaching us as well and even perfectly afterwards we just did it ourselves yeah so we were left to our own devices to do i think four or five locks and we did it just the two of us with ken showing us a little bit here and there i feel good next stop taking our boat down one but it should be all right that, that should be fun hey yeah <laughs> off we go better go help ken more up hey i think he's already made a start there he is he gets what? really stuck in hey walloping away isn't he Right then, here we are today, another day. Wanted to check out this bilge. I've used nappies down here because it was recommended on a Facebook page. Amazing actually, wow. Let's get these out of the way. All right, still got some water in here look. Nowhere near as bad as it is. What we plan to do now is just to soak this up, keep on top of it, and see if the water reduces. Hi, it's going very well here, except I've just ripped my favourite jeans on a rogue nail that was pointing out on the wall. Stressful actually. You know, we're not going to lie, there are some really stressful moments on the boat. You do have moments where you just think, what the hell is going on? But. This is part of it, also a part of our spiritual growth. It's all, it's all part of our resilience building, you know, and just shrugging things off and not letting these little irritating things get, us, get to us. We're fixing this, we're getting, we're getting amongst it because the, the floor from this job is soaking. And I've just ripped the jeans. Yeah. We've just created a hole and uh, Josh has now got a saw over here. He's getting ready and we are going to cut a hole in our floor and see what's going on underneath to see the extent of all of this sort of damp that's over the wall. You can see here now there's been water penetration that's coming from this side here where it's been leaking and uh, hopefully the damage isn't too bad underneath. We want to redo our bedroom anyway, so this is maybe the first step into getting us on to doing the job. Oh, 
Josh has managed to cut a hole and uh, obviously we can see the ballasts here. Yeah, these are the ballasts obviously guys. But we're not able to take that out because it's just a little bit too small. There's a floorboard um, there and it's obviously really sodden. But that for me is encouraging. I feel like that's not too bad. Yeah, what I want to do is try and I need to cut a little bit more space in there so I can pull the ballasts out. Okay. Just so I can have a look at the base plate underneath then. And then that can be, that can act as another inspection hatch. Oh, I can see it glistening. Yeah. Is it wet, wet? I can't tell you. Yeah. How does it look? Uh, wet, but not puddling. See? So literally, it could just be... I think it's just ran down. So that's not too bad, actually. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Part of that is actually dry. One yeah. side is wet, one side is dry. Yeah, look at that. You can just see the condensation almost. Mm. Well, I'm feeling a lot more relieved. How are you feeling, buddy? Overall, I'm relieved. This big worry that we initially thought we had isn't so anymore. You know, we're on top of it, we're getting rid of the water, and I think we've figured out where the water source has come from. We've checked the, the route of where it's going from, and yeah, tiring. It's a mess. I mean, a mess. look at this, this is our bedroom. It wasn't even on the job list today, but you know. Needs must. Whatever, yeah, needs But hey, to be I've, done. I've, I've cooked us a lovely stew, so. Dinner will be lovely. Dinner doesn't have to be made. It's all ready, buddy. I like that feeling. So you can just put all this back and uh, eat some dinner and watch a movie. <laughs> it's Friday night. This bloody toilet again, guys. We have to gain access under here to get our cassette out. Well, now it's bloody jammed. It actually is. We're having problems with our toilet. But here's our toilet in all its glory. We've got this. It's moving freely now. Is it? The whole movement. But that black thing's not moving at all. This bit. So the cassette is now stuck. We can't get it out. So this is another confirmation for us that we want to change our toilet setup. We want a composting though, don't we? Because this- Absolutely. We're having, we're having to take this cassette out way too often because there's two of us that live on the boat and- uh, And one of us that empties it every 48 hours. Well, every three or four days, but still, it's not fun. It's not fun. It's not fun for Josh. <laughs> so, why does this happen when we've got so many things to do today? Honestly, this toilet is the bane of our lives. It takes up so much time. It's not very lovely. And, um, well, that's, that's enough, it. isn't it, really? <laughs> it's, just, it's just crap, literally. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, it's out of action. This is going to be an interesting few weeks. We're going to leave this toilet flashing red. Error, error, error. Error, error. Oh dear. The toilet doesn't open. There's a hole there. Don't use it. So we're going to get our camping bucket out again. It's a little composting situation camping toilet, we've got, but it's, but it's a cheapo uh, one, isn't it? It's, it's not that great. So it's going to be a fun. It's going to be like camping all the time, like it was in our van before we got the lovely boat. Yay. Well, evening. Hello there, from the towpath. Um, this is the realities of us having a YouTube channel. We are now going for a walk because the signal in the countryside is rubbish. And uh, this is where we are on location. We are in, in the countryside and we're trying to find a better signal so we can upload our video, which was supposed to be out almost an hour ago. So yeah promise it's worth the wait. It's always worth the wait, guys. But yeah, we're going to go jump in the van. We'll try and find some Wi-Fi. <laughs> Wish us luck. We're off again, trying to find better signal. <laughs> Babe, you keep an eye on the signal strength as I'm driving around, okay? All right. See if we can get a good signal. <laughs> Wish us luck. We've got a bag of crisps to keep us, uh, to sustain us on our journey. And a bottle of water. So it's an exciting night.
enjoying your little walk. It's so beautiful, isn't it? What a lovely day that we're getting today. It's been quite special recently anyway, but today just there's something, feels very springtime, doesn't it? There's something springy about it. It does, to be fair. It really the does. smell, the sounds. It's comfortably warm without wrapping up. The spring. That's so cool. Thank you guys for joining us for another adventure on the waterways. Having you with us always makes our week. We also want to say a very big thank you to these lovely folk for buying us a little coffee treat this week. Next week on our narrowboat, we wake up to a winter wonderland. We finally make our bedroom more functional. Josh takes his first dip in the canal. And these special people come for a visit. See you, See next, you next Sunday. Sunday.